Camera enthusiasts are going to be excited when they get their hands on Canon's latest DSLR, the EOS 70D, especially if they shoot video. This one is a game changer. Hi again, I'm Larry Becker. Canon's latest 20.2 megapixel APS-C CMOS sensor equipped enthusiast camera is called the 70D and there are some great innovations on board. Let me start by saying this camera captures impressive quality images and with over 20 megapixels these images can be printed very large or you can crop and recompose images during post-processing and still have nice images that print well. The still photography performance is really respectable with 7 frames per second burst shooting, a native ISO range from 100 to 12,800 and that's expandable to 25,600, and 19 cross-type sensors in the autofocus system. It focuses and shoots really fast. Now, before I mention my specific experience with image quality and how the buttons and dials feel, let me say I was using a pre-release of the 70D and my experience may be slightly different than what you get with the commercial production units. That said, the high ISO noise isn't class leading, but it's good and certainly better than sensors from just a few short years ago. The overall image quality is very good and I was pleasantly surprised that the raw images worked with the current version of Adobe Camera Raw software so I could process the images to my taste right away without waiting for an update to Adobe Camera Raw or Lightroom software. So, it's a very respectable modern DSLR sharing a spot at the top of Canon's APS-C size sensor lineup next to the popular 7D. But what makes the 70D stand out from the competition? Have a seat. This might take a little while. When Canon first introduced touchscreen LCD panels on their Rebel line of consumer cameras, I thought it was an interesting wow feature that could appeal to some consumers, but I didn't really value the touchscreen as highly as I should have. Now I really appreciate DSLR touchscreens because of how quickly I can jump to a menu item or adjust a setting or review images and zoom to see detail. If you've seen my reviews on the Rebel cameras with touch screens, I pointed out that you can enable a feature called Touch Shutter, where the camera will focus where you touch and then snap the image without pressing the shutter button. While the concept is cool, I see some drawbacks, like it's hard to hold the camera still and touch the LCD, so it's most practical with a tripod. Also, I pointed out that it wasn't especially quick, but with the 70D, it's noticeably quicker. I'm guessing that the reason touch shutter is quicker is the same reason the camera is sure to be a hit with DSLR videographers. Canon's new sensor-based focus technology. They call the sensor a dual pixel CMOS AF sensor. But what Canon calls the technology isn't as important as what it does. Lots of camera nerds like me know that phase detection autofocus systems are traditionally a lot faster than contrast detection autofocus systems. But phase detection AF doesn't usually work in live view mode. So during video recording, when there's no optical viewfinder option and you have to use live view, autofocusing can be slow and it can hunt before it lands on the proper focus. This new technology greatly improves AF during filming. So now, somebody like me, who isn't as skilled at manually pulling focus like a pro videographer, can capture footage that's much more professional looking. Even pros will appreciate having spot on focus during difficult run and gun situations like weddings and sports, or whenever manual focus isn't appropriate. Now, think for just a second about those last two features I mentioned fast, accurate autofocus while filming, and the ability to touch the LCD to tell it where to focus. All of a sudden, you can see how this camera will be improving your video production right out of the box. And with the videographer in mind, Canon included a twist flip LCD for filming unusual angles and for recording yourself. The video feature set of the 70D is pretty strong all around. Of course, it captures 1080p HD at 30 frames a second. Like I mentioned, autofocus is great during filming. 
There's a mic jack for an external mic and you can set the volume manually before shooting for external or the built-in stereo mics, but not during filming. And unfortunately, there isn't a headphone jack. I really like that the video is available from any mode dial position. You just flip the ring around the live view button to the movie position and then press the live view button itself to start and stop recording. Editors will also appreciate that the 70D captures video time code. I was also impressed to see another pro favorite. Shutter speed, aperture, and ISO can be adjusted while filming in manual mode and exposure compensation can be changed during filming in other modes. And finally, back to one of those consumer wow features, the 70D can capture a video snapshot album. There's a reasonable collection of novice friendly features and settings including things like the fact that the camera uses SD cards, just one slot though. It has creative filters to add special effects to images you've shot, scene modes to make it easier for novices to set their camera for the environments where they'll be shooting, and one of my favorites from Canon, creative auto mode. This is for those novices who are pushing to do more, but they aren't quite sure how to do it. For example, they know they want a soft background with their subject in focus, but they don't know what aperture setting would accomplish that. Maybe they don't even know about the aperture setting at all. They can just use the intuitive sliders in the creative auto mode and get exactly what they want. Of course, there's a full auto mode and full auto with no flash, and the pro shooting modes that Canon calls the creative shooting modes. There's a mode dial position for programmed auto, shutter priority, aperture priority, manual, bulb mode, and a single custom position labeled C so that pros can set up the camera just the way they want. The weight, grip, and overall feel of the camera are quite good. And if I didn't point it out, you probably wouldn't even notice that there are little plastic body parts because there's a sturdy, solid feel to the camera and a textured grip on many of the surfaces. All the buttons and dials are in logical, comfortable positions, but it seemed like the set button and the multi-control were just a little soft. Again, this may be a characteristic of the pre-release unit I was using since I never experienced this with other Canon cameras. Another pro feature I like is that the built-in flash can control compatible external Canon speed lights wirelessly. With some cameras, I consider built-in Wi-Fi to be strictly a consumer feature because it's impractical to transfer full-size files, not to mention RAW files, which are really large and RAW file transfer is usually prohibited anyway. So transferring small files is fine, but it's more of a consumer feature in my opinion. However, since you can use Canon's Wi-Fi app to control the camera and shoot wirelessly, that goes beyond a consumer wow feature and that's in the pro arena. There's one more thing I want to mention, and I don't remember ever commenting in a positive way about this topic in any of my reviews until now. I like the manual. The explanations are more comprehensive where some manuals are pretty cryptic, and I especially like the downloadable PDF manual because it's in color, and the page numbers of the manual correspond to the PDF page numbers. I read camera manuals all the time, and some are really bad. If you're like me, and you put manuals for your gear on your laptop or your tablet, you'll actually enjoy the 70D's manual. If you can't already tell, I like this camera, and I'm really impressed with the image quality and the video feature set. And if you shoot video or you're even thinking about it, you'll want to check out the Canon EOS 70D. For B&H and Kelby Training, I'm Larry Becker. Thanks for watching. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, B&H has the answers to your questions. Experience a world of technology at our New York City Superstore. Connect with us online or give us a call. Our staff of experts is happy to help. Scott Kelby here and welcome to this quick tour of our online training. We have hundreds of online classes for you covering everything from lighting to landscape photography. From portrait photography to sports, we have classes on wedding, automotive photography, shooting, food, fashion, travel, you name it. The most incredible part of this is the price. You get all of this for just $199 a year, or you can pay monthly for just $24.95. 24 hour a day, seven day a week access from anywhere in the world. I invite you to join with us today and start learning right now.